So Ed, talk about national count upsells. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. I think those are often overlooked opportunities. And, and what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, the totally penetrated national accounts, like a Macy's, like where we do all of them, right? It's not, it's not the preferred vendor approach where we're, you know, where we have a hunting license and we're asking our account managers to go out and, you know, sell locations we don't already do. I want to focus just a little bit of chat on what, what we do with the accounts that we already do. You know, we do every Macy's in the country. We service every one of them. We do the majority of the waste management locations. All these accounts that we already have all of our business in, I think, afford opportunities that we often don't look for. When we go out and we do quality assurance visits on current customers, we always seem to let these national account ones go by the wayside. We don't go out and do a quality insurance inspection on a Macy's. But I can tell you that the Macy's and, and, and the waste managements and companies like that that we have under the books that we think we're doing everything afford the same opportunities that the little ones, you know, the, the local accounts do. It takes a little bit more of an approval process to get it going on. But every time I think about this, 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 this opportunity and this kind of change channel of, of sales revenue. I think about Lewis Baird, you know, who did this up in up in Chicago and then he's come down here now down to Atlanta and he's just he just makes a living. You know, he probably sells ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month you know, adding services to national accounts. Like he'll go into a Macy's and talk to the technicians and find out that the Macy's is having a problem. He'll go in and get a rodent clean out on a Macy's. He'll upsell fly lights into all these you know, hospitals. All these things that, that are often overlooked that we think because it's a national account we can't go chase it locally. But I would encourage you to go out and do some quality assurance visits on your national accounts. Go, go visit the Macy's. Go walk around the Macy's and kick the tires and do a quality assurance visit and find something that maybe they need. You know, particularly the ones that the technicians are struggling with, going back and doing extra services on, there's opportunities you can help the technician. You know, if you've got a, a Macy's that's overrun with mice and they're having trouble with mice, what if we went out there and we sold them, you know, six, seven excluder door sweeps at seven or eight hundred dollars? What about a, a fly light program for one of these hospitals that, you know, it's a perfect, perfect time to go chase flies? So I think what, what we often overlook is the opportunities that sit inside these national accounts because they're nationals. We don't go chase them. You know, we get the preferred vendor. We get the hunting license. We know how to chase those relationships. But we, we don't do a very good job in my mind, other than Lewis and, and a handful of others, in really, really adding services that are needed to those current national accounts that we just never go visit. So I would encourage you as you're trying to add more places to go, you know, that whole idea of staying active, get out and visit these national accounts, just do a quality assurance audit. audit. If you're going out there and you've got an appointment down the road and you know that there's Macy's there, go walk through the store, go walk through the warehouse and find those opportunities. I think that there's there's gold in them there hills, as they say, <laughs> and, and Lewis Beard has, has really figured out a way. And it wasn't something he was just doing in Chicago. He's been down now, you know, for close to four or five months in Atlanta, and he's doing the same thing by adding services to current national accounts that they need. You know, every hospital needs some more, probably needs more fly lights right now. But we'll just continue to go down the road and not go visit them. So spend some time, work with your managers, work with your technicians, find if there's particular ones that have hot spots that they're struggling with. You know, I, I think about the poor technicians that, that start to chase, you know, rodents around, around one of these big national account warehouses. And, you know, they don't think they, there's any relief of getting more work. But there's often ample opportunity, like Lowe's, for instance. You know, we get into some of these roof rat situations with Lowe's and they explode. There's money to be had there if you go out and visit these and, and put programs together. You got to follow the approval processes, but but don't lose sight of that opportunity. I think I think that's one that's that's in my mind really overlooked. I, I think there's like I said there, there there there's a great opportunity in adding to your sales and helping your technicians out when when you go chase some of those down. Just go down and kick the tires. Tell them hey I'm just coming to look around. I'm the I'm another set of eyes from Orkin. Want to do a quality assurance visit for you and see what you uncover. See what you can upsell. What if you sold them all mosquito service? You know that they didn't even know that we did. Think about that. Um, so that, that that that's really what I would. And when I, when I when I talk about national account upsells, talking about the true nationals, that uh, that that we do all their locations, and uh, you know there's nothing new to sell them other than new other services. You know, pounding in some of your ancillary services. How's that? Great tip.